guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday, it's the start of my work week. I wanted to look back on what I did last year, and for some reason last year we only did uh, $140, which seemed really low to me. So I was like, you know what, I think we could do that normally. So I'm gonna just keep it at 200 bucks, I think that's pretty reasonable. Although it's pretty slow, it's currently 11.18. I've been online for about 18 minutes and I haven't done a single order yet. The map is allegedly red and busy, but it doesn't look like it. I've only declined a few orders, so it's not even like I'm getting bombarded with crappy orders or anything. It's just not that busy at the moment, but we'll see you guys on the first order. We have our first set of orders here, both of them from Sweet Green, showing an $11 payout, 2.8 miles. Now, I mainly took it because Sweet Green is super fast, and I knew that I wasn't going to wait for the orders. Uh, the payout is, is okay, you know, but honestly, I mainly took it because I've been sitting for 25 minutes and I haven't done anything. So I was like, you know what? We got to do something. So... We're on the road, got the orders picked up. We'll see you guys at the drop off. Got both orders dropped off from Sweet Green. I didn't realize that when I took the offer, it was actually showing as $11.50, not $11. But that $11.50 became, became $16.50 when the second order had a huge tip. Now we're making our way back to Sweet Green yet again to give another offer here showing $7.75, five items, like 4.2 miles. Not the greatest order to be honest, but for one, I got the order right away. I know that Sweet Green, the food is gonna be ready. And I'm about two miles away from the, from the restaurant which means that it's only really about two miles away from the drop-off you know so again it is what it is and I just want to keep it going like I want to I want to stay active I feel like I've already been sitting for way too long again from 11 to like 11 25 we didn't do anything so I don't know if that's like the new norm now I've noticed that lately that from like 11 to like 11 20 it's just really slow in my area and then it kind of picks up a little bit which is kind of weird but I don't know maybe that's the way people are ordering who knows Anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. If we picked up from Sweet Green, didn't have any issues except for the fact that there was no parking. And for whatever reason, uh, it took me like two to three laps around the town center to finally find a spot. Or I guess wait for them to clear up because the spots that I'm talking about are not really parking spots. They're supposed to be used as like you park there for a second, they bring in your food or you get it real quick and that's it. But for some reason, it was full of cars. So it took me longer than I would have liked. And it probably didn't take that long. It just felt like it took a long time because typically that's never a problem you know so now we're seven minutes away from the drop off let's yeah, get the order dropped off and we went from 775 to 925 so hey we'll take it and now we're sitting at 2575 for the entire dash which isn't so bad considering we didn't start doing anything till about 1125 it's currently 1210 and I'm making my way back to the town center I'm really hoping we get something before I get there because it's kind of like my side mission is to not make it to the town center I'm, I'm always gonna be driving there but I'm trying not to make it if that makes sense so we'll see you guys on the next one. Guys, so we finally have our next order. And what I mean by that is last time, I think it was 12.10 when we checked in. It's currently 1.10. A whole hour went by and we finally have our next order. I'm not gonna lie, that was the toughest hour because it doesn't make sense. It's technically peak lunchtime. So why is there no orders, you know? Uh, and it was basically like that. It was, it was really, really slow and the orders that I was getting didn't even make sense. Like I thought about taking some of them and I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not gonna drive. 15 miles for like 12 bucks you know it doesn't make any sense so we held our ground and basically wasted a whole hour really if this order came in here from Nando's Perry Perry chicken showing 775 I think three or four miles again best order that I've seen in about an hour so we took it hopefully the food's ready and at this point I'm more like in damage control mode so I'm probably gonna take um, higher mileage orders than I probably wouldn't really take um, but again they still have to make sense somewhat. I'm not I'm not over here uh, doing no crazy miles for you know very little pay. They have to make sense. But we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, so as I was walking here to the Nando's, they gave me a stack offer going to the same customer. So I took it, an additional six dollars. I think it's an additional two miles from Spice Town. I rarely go to Spice Town. Hopefully the food's ready. I mean, even if it's not, I'm gonna wait for it. Today is one of those days where you know it's definitely not very busy, so We'll see. Let's see if this food's ready. Thank you. Thank you. We're ready. And the food was ready. It was in the uh, in the pickup shelf. So hey, let's go. There's a dash mobile right there. We'll see you guys back on the road. So we're gonna make our way now to Spice Town because that's where the second order is coming from for the same customer. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, so to my surprise, the food was actually ready at um, 
Spice Town. I, you know what? Spice Town seems like the place that if I were to go there, I would never know what to get. Their menu is like seven pages long. So I feel like they do everything, but I don't know what they're good at, if that makes any sense. So anyways, now we're about nine minutes away from the customer drop-off. That's guys, we got both orders dropped off here from um, Nando's and Spice Town. Currently sitting at $41, so shout out to the customer for tipping on both orders. I feel like some customers, for the most part, only tip on the first one. And whatever the add-on offer is, they don't, really, they don't really tip on that, you know? But she did them both, so shout out to her. And then when I was making my way, my way back, to the town center, I got this offer here from Uncle Julio's showing nine items, 12.6 uh, miles. I'm not really sure about the miles because on the map is showing the mileage if I were to take the toll road, you know? So the toll road, I feel like will be a little bit less miles. I mean, I'm still gonna take it mainly because it's really slow and I can't pass up a 21.75 offer from Uncle Julio's. You know, there's also the possibility that it could be slightly higher, you never know. So hopefully the food's ready when we get there. We'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so the food's actually ready at uh, Uncle Julio's. It said there that the on time was 205 for the pickup, but on my phone it was 158. Regardless, the food was ready, so no problem. Now we're 18 minutes away or 8.3 miles. Let's go. Get the order dropped off and it became actually like $25 or some change. So now we're sitting at 6626. Currently 219 and we got a 15 minute drive back to the town center, which is totally okay. Uh, had a funny interaction with the customer because his gate was malfunctioning so he couldn't get it to open um, So he actually came down and he met me by the beginning of his driveway because it wasn't working um, And he said <clears throat> he's been having issues with it whenever it gets really really cold the gate like malfunctions And I'm like, so what do you do in the winter when it's really cold? So he said exactly so basically he has to leave it open because if, it, if it's closed and the temperature drops too much He won't be able to open to open it, which is, I was, I was like, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of having a gate, you know? But hey, anyways, we're making our way back to the town center. I'm so glad we got that order because that made our, our total for the day a little more respectable. You know, basically just shy of 70 bucks. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. Today's such a strange day, right? So we got back to the, to the town center around 2.35, give or take. It's currently 3.30. For the last hour, we've basically been sitting here declining garbage or just sitting, you know, not doing anything at all. Um, and so this order came in from Pot Belly showing 625, less than a mile. Honestly, that's the best order that I've seen, and that's a good order. But before that, I've been getting 225s, 325s, 375s. I'm not moving for those. I'm not moving for those. So it's a weird Tuesday. Maybe this is why last year I only did $140. Maybe I should have, you know, looked at that and see what happened then because it's crazy slow so anyways i'm not really sure if we'll be able to hit the goal of 200 then again it's still pretty much early it's only 3 30 so there's plenty of time left but who knows we'll see you guys on the next one so after doing the last drop off here which became 675 we got this order here from chipotle showing 3.5 miles 675 payout and i took it because honestly it's a pretty decent two to five order and it's a really decent order for today because today the orders have been like super super scarce so yeah can't pass on that we'll see you guys at the drop -off. we made it all the way back to the town center after dropping off the order here from chipotle which was just 675 by the way now we're currently sitting at 79 dollars with 76 cents uh currently 4 p.m so not you know we're kind of running out of time here hopefully by five we'll be at 100 bucks i'm really hoping we are uh, we're basically averaging about 17 dollars on like 65 cents an hour Something like that, which is not that great when you really think about it. I've only done eight orders. I've declined like 135. And you might think, yeah, that's, you're declining a lot. I'm, I am because I'm getting a lot of garbage. I'm not going to settle for any of this garbage. I'd rather sit in this car and not do anything than to take a 225, 375, 475, any of that. If the order makes sense, if the miles are there, it could be low, it could be a lot of miles. But if the payout makes sense, I'll take it. And so far today, it's not, it's not been like that. It's just been a bunch of garbage. So hopefully we get something soon. We'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so luckily we didn't have to wait too, too long. It's currently 418 and we just picked up our next order from Total Wine. 3.5 miles, 950 for the payout, two items. Super easy to find, a couple of box wines. And yeah, now we're back on the road, about five minutes from the drop off. Let's go. So we got the order from Total Wine dropped off, made it back to the town center. Basically waited for another 10 to 12 minutes until we got this order here from Mon Amiga B. 
showing uh, 675 payout. I think it's like 3.5 miles, five items. The reason why I took it was I got the text saying that the food was ready before I even accepted the order. So that's actually what led me to saying yes. Cause I'm like, okay, the food is ready, so we don't have to wait. And I was like, we can knock this out before five, and maybe if we're lucky, get over get over that one hundred dollar threshold. So I'm kind of hoping that it has a little bit of extra pay. Let's go, Alrighty, guys. We get the last order dropped off here from Mona Me. Now we're sitting at ninety nine dollars with fifty one cents, basically as close as one can be to a hundred dollars without being at a hundred dollars. We're this close to hitting the halfway mark to our goal of $200 today. I don't know if we're gonna stay out later than eight o'clock. I feel like I might have to since lunch was so slow and two to five wasn't all that great. So we'll see. If it's busy, we'll probably stay you know, past the eight o'clock mark. But if it's just pretty much dead, then there's really no point, you know? So we'll see, hopefully we have a really good lunch and we'll see you at uh, lunch. Hopefully we have a really good dinner and we'll see you guys on the next one. Right. guys, we're heading to Chick-fil-A. The payout is A50. I want to say less than four miles. I think like eight or seven items. Didn't even, didn't even look at the items. I'm hoping that it doesn't have a whole lot of drinks. Just I'm just not a big fan of drinks. Uh, let me look at it right now. Although you would think that I would I would have looked at that when I saw that many items. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It has no drinks. It will take it. Even better. Now we're about five minutes away from the Chick Fil A again. I'm not a huge fan of Chick Fil A because they're usually super busy. But again, I really can't pass A50 today. So hopefully the food's ready, we'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, so we got the Chick-fil-A, and of course, what happens to my phone? The DoorDash app kicked me out, couldn't get back on. I kept signing in, it was signing me out, rebooted my phone, that seemed to do the trick, but you know, the daily app issues with DoorDash are never ending. So it is what it is. Now we're back on the road. We're about seven minutes away from the drop off. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we got the dropped off from Chick-fil-A. It became $9. So now we're sitting at $108 with 51 cents. Currently 5.30 in the afternoon. So I'm really hoping that it just picks up. We're gonna make the best of it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty guys, it's been about 20 minutes since doing the last drop off and I was getting kind of worried. I'm like, man, today's gonna be just slow Tuesday. And then we got this order here from Sweet Green showing 675. I think it was like three miles, maybe a little bit more. But I jumped on it right away because I knew the food was gonna be ready so that I could minimize my time on this order. And then hopefully after this, it just gets busier because honestly, it's, it's a struggle, you know, going 15, 20 minutes in between orders. Uh, so yeah, so we'll see you guys hopefully on the next one relatively soon. Let's go. Guys, the trend of 20 minutes in between orders keeps going. So dropped out the last order, made it back to the town center, parked, hung out for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we got this offer here from um, Mason's Lobsters, 625, I think it's like less than a mile. Jumped on it right away, but again, going 10, 20 minutes in between orders just absolutely sucks. So hopefully after this, it just picks up. I just feel like I've been saying the same thing, but slightly different the entire day today, but how slow it's been. So sorry for the most uh, repetitive video out there. But anyways, let me get this picked up. We'll see you guys. Hey right, guys, we're here picking up at Mason's Famous Lobster Rolls. Hopefully the food's ready. Okay. Yeah, picking up for Eric. Eric. Yeah. Eric B. Thanks so much, man. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, you Thank you. Guys, yeah, so you saw the food was ready. See, Mason's uh, Lobster Rolls is one of those places I wish I got more orders from because they're always ready. The food's always ready. And it's not really that, uh, that cheap, you know. Lobsters are not cheap, so. It's a nice place. I wish they were busier on DoorDash, but it is what it is. Now, we're only two minutes away from the drop-off, so let's get it. Alrighty, guys. So, we had the last order dropped off from the lobster place. It was just uh, 625 I think. Now, we got this order from North Italia, also showing 625 I think it's like three or four items. I think it's going like 3.5 miles, maybe. Honestly, I forgot, but I accept it right away because I'm tired of not doing anything. So, hopefully, the food's ready. We'll see you guys. Back on the road. Guys, luckily for us, the food was ready in North Italia, so we didn't do any waiting. Got the order dropped off, it became $8. Now we're trying to make it back to the town center, super slow, not getting any offers at all. Currently 6.55. We're probably gonna dash till about nine, so we'll see you guys in the next guys, one. Guys, after hanging out for about five to 10 minutes without doing anything, didn't get a single offer. This one came in from Papa John's, showing a 12.50 payout, four items, two orders. I think it's, um, five miles maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, which honestly, I'm taking it because of the cash flow. I don't really care about the miles right now. Uh, but yeah, today, just throw throw the whole dash away. It's, it's trash Tuesday. You know, definitely not uh, the best dash I've ever had. 
I don't know. And some Tuesdays are so busy. Other Tuesdays are crazy slow. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to change my days off from Mondays to Tuesday. I might have to think about that. Who knows? But anyways, we're about five minutes away from the Papa John's. I'm hoping they're not too, too busy. We'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, because the food dropped off from Papa John's, it actually came in clutch. It ended up being $15.70. So then we're sitting at $145.96. So basically, we already beat last year's numbers. We only did $139 last year. So we, we beat that, and we're basically like $55 away from $200. I don't know if that's even possible. But we're probably going to dash till about 9, maybe 9.30. Uh, as long as it stays somewhat busy, but then again, today's been slow the entire day, so I'm just gonna go till 9.30 regardless, and hopefully it pays off. Let's go. Hey guys, we just picked up our next order here from Bar Taco, showing 850, almost five miles, five items. Ended up waiting a little bit, but that's okay. We're currently about 11 minutes from the drop-off, and it's currently 8.04. So yeah, again, we're gonna dash on 9.30, so we're gonna just try and see how much we can get. I mean, I don't think we're gonna get to uh, 200, but hey, if we get to 175 or whatever, I'm cool with that. Let's keep it going. Alrighty, guys, we're making our way to North Italia. It's probably gonna be our last order. I'm not sure. Showing an $11 payout, six miles, two items. I got the text saying that the food was ready, so there's that. Again, not the greatest day, but we're trying, we're trying. Let's go. Hey guys, got the order dropped off here for North Italia. We're gonna go ahead and end the dash. We're gonna finish at $169 with 46 cents. And honestly, it's not that bad considering that the goal is 200, we're basically $31 away. But if you look at our hourly, whew, that's tough. $16.83. And if you look at the uh, online time, the delivery time, we basically set for about half the time, which isn't really what I'm shooting for, but it is what it is. When I put up all the numbers, I'm sure they're already up there. Uh, so you guys can check them out. Not every day can be a banger, clearly. This was Trash Tuesday, but even as trashy as it was, I think we still made a respectable $170, basically. So anyways, thanks for coming along. We'll see you guys next time. Y'all take care.